it's a difficult nuanced concept, this asymptomatic spread. So mm. I think a lot of people think there's like zombies out there that are <laughs> not symptomatic that are spreading all over. And I, I do think truly asymptomatic spread is, is less usual. What we have here is a period, what we call pre-symptomatic phase that probably last two days, influenza maybe a day where you don't have any symptoms or, or you're pre-apparent. And the viral loads in this illness are highest at the onset and then fall. Um, mm. SARS, uh, CoV-1 was different. It was high and then it got higher with illness. But, but this actually at the onset. And so you're most contagious when you have the highest viral loads. And as you mentioned, there is a period where before you might have onset of symptoms, you could be potentially contagious to others. Uh, and hence the rationale for the universal masking. Um, now, in terms of mortality, I mean, you mentioned we're seeing mortality rates all over the board a little bit. U.S., if you look overall, it's about 3 to 4%. It is not across the board equally, though. Um, this is a disease that is not treating our elderly and elderly with comor comorbid conditions. It's different, right? So yeah. um, almost, I think, in the States, 80% of the deaths are in people over 65. Most of those have... Uh, comorbid conditions. It obviously, we've seen young people, as you mentioned, in ICUs. Most of those also will have a, a, a comorbid condition. 